Hi, this is Damon with Ray Corporation. Today I'm going to show you how to use the auto size diameter function on the TP2. This feature includes the ability to rate a coil with pressure water drops that change as you change the header size. This means you can reduce the water pressure drop by increasing your header size, often saving money if the pressure drop is critical. Here are a couple quick notes on using the auto size. It only applies to water and glycoil co coils. You can increase or decrease header size and obtain real-time pressure drops with the auto size function. This program will default to the auto size connection if it's based on GPM. Alright, so we're ready to get started. First, you'll put in your coil design parameters, so everything you're given, and your performance data per coil. Then you'll go over to header size to calculate drop down. Drop down to it and click auto size diameter, then rate. Here's your rating. Our target fluid pressure drop is at 3.24 and this is at 3.95 which is pretty good. So now I'll show you what we're going to do when we, or how how well it performs when you just manually do it. Um, first let's see what I'm going to want to try. Um, we'll go with uh, 2 and 5 eighths. Here you can see if the fluid pressure drop is 1.44 and this is pretty significant drop over the 3.24 target. The auto size was the better choice in this this area. So that's that. A couple quick things about using the auto function, the auto size function. When you go to drawing connections. If you change your header size diameter, let's say you change it to three, three and an eighth, you're going to want to change it also on the header size drop down to three and an eighth. This is because this will override your drawing and it will change the numbers. Another thing to know is if you copy this and copy next and open that up to create a new coil. The first thing you'll want to do is change to auto size diameter. Well that's all I have today.